So welcome. This is a new video. This video is going to be talking about uh, my friend uh, Carl. Uh, he's crazy. <laughs> That's all I have to say. He's uh, kind of weird, but he he's a person, and I have to. And he's also one of my friends. So, but uh, I hope you enjoy him. There you go. So hey guys, welcome to the Alps. I will be talking to you uh, in the Alps area. So when it snows. Ching, 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 ching. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. There's avalanches. They come after you like a shark does if you're in the water. But that's what they do. They're like... So, yeah. Uh, you gotta be careful of those when you're snowboarding or doing anything like that. And like I said, I don't even know if I said it, but I'm gonna talk about mountain goats, okay? Okay, okay. Uh... Uh, well, let's talk about the, the elk and all that fun stuff. They, they don't usually come to our area when they do. Never chase after them. Never call them stupid because they'll come after you like a, like a goose eating your bum chicken. Continuing on, this is very, very important. To remember always to, uh, if you're ever, like, sick after you're, like, in your vacation time and... Have a very good day. What you should do is put your head, take a pot. Go ahead. Do not do that. Do not sleep while you're hurting your head underneath because you might kill yourself. You might drown yourself. Because what you're supposed to do is take a pot, dunk your head into it. No, don't dunk your head into it. And then put a towel over your head. Now that steam to clear up your sinuses to help you fall asleep. But if you're super tired, do not do that because you don't really need to help you sleep if you're going to so tired that you're going to sleep already. But if you're having a really hard time to sleep, do that. Now, if you want to go skiing, uh, the best thing to do is to get skates. <laughs> Duh. Uh, make sure to wear elbow pads, knee pads, eyebrow pads, butt pads. Uh, stomach pads, anything that says pads. Uh, okay, not everything, but you got my point. And then you put it all on, and then you start skating. You fall, quit. That's that. You just quit. That's the point of starting over again. You're just gonna fall again. There's no point. My mama never told me, showed me how to skate, and that's proof fact. So make sure. <laughs> Make sure to get those elbow pads. And when you do, do not stop skating. Because when you go forward into victory, you will win and conquer all. Dun da 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 You understand what I'm saying? Always, always conquer your fears. And even if your fear is jumping into an ice lake and drowning yourself, go do that. Because you'll show that everybody that you won. And that's the greatest thing in life to do. Oh, what am I talking about? Well, we can talk about something else. Let's talk about mountain goats. Those things are amazing. You know what I'm saying? You know? You know what I'm saying? The best thing to do with mountain goats is to leave them alone. But if you go on top to see a mountain goat, do not try to chop its antler off. You know what it'll do. <laughs> you know what it, you know what it'll do. It, it'll start charging you. No, not charging you. Not not like charging your phone. It'll start coming after you like a, a uh, like a duck chases bugs. I I don't know. Like a duct tape that rips off your skin. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the best thing to do. If you ever see a mountain lion in the snow, make sure to run. Actually, run. That's the best thing to do. Roll down a hill. Because when you roll down a hill, you die anyway. So it's better than getting eaten by a tiger. That, that's what I always say. <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, never, ever, ever, if you ever bring, like, water or hot chocolate out just to chill in the snow... Never, ever, ever leave it outside because it'll turn to ice. The only way to get that water out is to thaw, de-thaw it, 
rip your bottle in half just to lick that stupid fresh water that's in your bottle. I don't think that would be like the best idea ever. So I likely doubt that would be a good idea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next. If you're ever going to a barbecue in the middle of the winter, I mean, <laughs> why would you? Right? <laughs> but if you ever do, don't forget to, don't forget to eat your hot dog on hamburger or your ribs because if you don't you're gonna have some nice fun really nice like so nice it'll be nice the best thing to do is to eat it right away because if you don't <laughs> you will not you, you, it'll, it'll be frozen it'll be like totally frozen <laughs> and I think I would do the best thing to do is just eat it another thing when you're in a cabin and it's nice and warm and toasty, never, ever make a bonfire in the middle of your room. <laughs> because if you do, it's going to be bad. You're not, oh, I should say that. You're not a, 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 a Canadian. You, you don't make bonfires and jump around them. I know because I'm a Canadian, so... But, I mean, completely, like, yeah, uh, and, yeah, that's not a good thing to do because your bonfire is going to get so big, your house is going to be, going to become the bonfire, and trust me, you don't want that, because that, that means you won't have any place to stay, so you'll be a frozen, cold, dead duck. And you can't hide in the winter cabins because they won't let you. I don't actually don't know this for a fact. But just to be safe, I think it'd just be better to take your blankets out before you start your bonfire. If you do inside your house, so then you cannot freeze to death in the middle of winter outside in the cold. I think the other best thing to do is go 20 miles out of the range of the ski resort and find a good sized cave. If you find a bear. Shoot it, chop it up into little pieces, eat it, use the skin as a cloak. And if you're too much of a city person, die. Because the best thing you have to do is shake it to the man. Shake to the, shake to the man. And I think that's it for everything when you're going to the ski lodge. If you have any more questions, call... Okay, not real. But just to be safe... Uh, yeah. Uh, goodbye, and roger out. <laughs>